Using a 19 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove the lug nuts. If your vehicle is equipped with a hubcap, go ahead and grab the hubcap, remove that as well. Grab the wheel, and go ahead and remove that. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, we want to go ahead and remove the three Phillips head screws. Yours may not have these here, but if it does, use your screwdriver. If you don't have these Phillips head screws, you might have plastic locking push pins. Up on the back side here, there is a plastic locking button. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the center out of this. out and continue around the fender liner and get all those out. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, go ahead and remove this screw right here. trim tool for this button right here. your fender liner, work that out. On the forward part of the uh, fender liner where the Phillips head screw went into, there's a little metal retainer tab right here. We wanna go ahead and slide that out. I wanna reuse this. Going to reinstall this metal clip onto the new liner. I'm going to install our new liner clip in and push that over. Let's go ahead and set our liner up into place. We'll start with the rearward section first where we can go ahead and get our Phillips head screw started. Just gonna get these caught for now. Before we snug these down, we wanna go ahead and line up the rest of the fender liner and get the other buttons locked in. take our Phillips head screw, we're gonna put it through here, and then we're gonna line up our fender liner up top with that metal tab. Gonna get that screw started in that. We can install our end button right here. Let's now go ahead and secure our forward Phillips head screw. And just snug that down. Let's go ahead and snug down our fender liner screws here. Go ahead and lift your wheel up and get that installed. Go 
If your vehicle is equipped with the hubcap, you want to find the notch right here for your valve stem to poke through. Line that up with your valve. And we'll get your lug nuts started by hand. Once we get these on, we'll go ahead and snug them down. Let's go ahead and torque our wheel down to 80 foot-pounds. 